My cat made me get up and go for a walk at like 2 a.m. Really? Makes sense. Yeah. And, and she's got like a strange problem. She's, she's got a strange problem where she's kind of like biting herself a little bit. Oh. But I just gave her flea medicine and I'm like, is this, is this like a nervous sort of problem that she's developed from being abandoned? Maybe. Yeah, so she's kind of highly demanding, needs a lot of attention constantly. And so, yeah, um, she's kind of biting herself. And I was like, all right, we got to go for a walk. Mm -hmm. And that was at like 1.30 or 2 a.m. Yeah. Do you usually take your cat for a walk? Like yeah. On a, like on a little leash? But we're just, no. Oh, no, she was okay. like an outdoor no. cat before, right? No, she wasn't out. I don't think she was outdoors. She can't really fend for herself. But she stays close. Didn't you like find her on the side of the road? In the middle of the street. Yeah, this was this was not an outdoor cat. This was an abandoned cat. She was mm, starved, okay. emaciated, um, infested with maggots. Oh my fleas, god! Fleas, mites. Uh, but I gave her all the medicine and I got her tested and everything. But I didn't tell you the story. It was good. It's been a while. It's been a while. I know. I was just thinking she was an outdoor cat, and you're like, okay. No. No, if she was an outdoor cat, I would have I would have preferred that she stay outdoors, so I don't you know. Okay, let's do some analysis. It's an A F sharp A. Yeah, that's a two seven. B four. B four is five seven. Alright, alright, so what key do we start in here? What key do we start in? G minor. G minor. Okay, so it's 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 the first chord is is a one chord. Right. And then how long do we stay one? Uh, I put one six four. Uh, right, like right. Okay, you're getting fancy, but this is basically all yeah, one. Yeah, it's all here. one until measure. Until. Six. So we're still in G here. This is a one chord. Mm -hmm. And then here you have got something. Right. I was just saying. I know B four of that would be like five seven or five. But okay, A C. Something G. Yeah. So it is the two with the seven. Two. Two with the seven. Okay. So what would the two be in a minor key? Undiminished. Okay. Or half. Half diminished. Half diminished. And it would be two half diminished in an inversion. Six five. Six five. Okay. And then we've got this chord. Five seven or a five. You can always tell it's an inversion when oh, there's well, yeah. um, five six, six five, right? Six five, five, six, five. So five. Gonna write it like that. And then to a what? One six four. To a five. five to a one. So cool. This is all the intro. And then we repeat. This kind of could be like something that rocks out, you know, in modern in modern times. It's, it's <laughs> got like six beats. That's yeah. Insane. Okay, so easy here. So let's say this was the final exam. Let's just say it's the final exam. We're doing Roman numerals. Okay, easy. Continuing on in G. Okay, and then when do we change here again? We're looking for recurrence. It's the same harmony. Two again. Half diminished. Six five. We'll just put that underneath there. And then. Uh, is this the same or is this same different? Yeah. It's different. Oh wait, no, the inverse. Same or different. It's a G minor chord on the top, but then there's a C sharp on the bottom, so I don't really know. Yeah. C sharp, what's going on there? Because then the C in the fourth beat, it could be uh, a C sharp diminished seven, right? C -sharp okay, so if we put the C sharp, sharp, if we imagine that we're stacking this, then we've got C sharp. Well, it could be. Uh, so we could just be 
Yeah. It's like a diminished, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So it's a CD. It's yes. A C sharp diminished chord would be a seven chord of something, Ooh, right? Seven, five. Seven. Diminished chord. Yeah. Seven. Diminished. Seven. Of. Five. Two. A. Well, doesn't it change on beat four? Yeah. Yeah, it does actually kind of change. Well, that's where you have the E natural right there. Yeah. That, that just gets added. Yeah, just so that oh, okay. Yeah. To a what? To a D major chord? Mm -hmm. yeah. To a five chord? And you know, if you get confused, you can always just write up here, you can always write the notes, because if you figure this out, you could always say that this is, you can always write a note here and say that this is a C diminished to help you as you go. If you, if you can't figure out that this would be a seven diminished seven of five, at least put this. So you know, or if you can't figure out, if you can't figure out that this is a one chord, you could always say here that it's just a G minor. This is a good way to help. And then here you're at a D major, so you could always say that if you, at first, if you can't, uh, well, not I shouldn't say if you can't, if you have a difficulty establishing what the Roman numeral analysis is. Okay. So then what? Then what? One. Wait a minute, what? In the Five. The bottom? Oh, bottom system, right? Bottom system? No, the last, the last measure. Of the oh, the last measure. Oh, oh sure, sure, sure. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, one. one yep. One, six, four, back to five. Back to another one, six, four. Five seven oh four, all right. Is everybody following with that? Five seven of four, four is minor. What's a four in the key of G minor? So we expect a G dominant chord here. And that's what we have. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Now here's something that's kind of inter something interesting coming up. Let's put this here. So page two. What did you guys get? A four? Yeah. Okay. Okay, if it were three, six, four, let's listen to it really quick. Let's listen. Let's let's listen again and just see what happens. Listen for cadences. So at some point we're going, 
So at some point we're getting into B flat, okay? We're in B flat. And then what comes before that? The B flat. Well, it's an F. Yes, I'm not sure before. Okay. Well, well, that one is an F. What's this chord right that here? The, F, 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 A. No, that one's no, F, A, right. C. The first right beat is a B flat. Right? The, second the first beat is a B flat, okay? So this one would be. The second one could actually be tonicizing the five one. Five B flat, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then this one right here is what in the key of B flat? Could you do it as you could put it as well, it's a one three, three a one six four, like the a one six four. So what do we always see in, before cadence? One six four five one, right? One six four five one. But also in so that's what Jude was saying. That's the pivot chord because it's a three in. Yeah, so you might use the thing like where you were like. The, the well, would pivot. that be the pivot chord? Or well, what if this four were the pivot chord? What would a four chord be? That'd be a two. That would be a two. So then that would kind of be like a two five one, two one six four five one, and that's that's a pretty common progression, right? So here we kind of put a two here. I'm just going to draw over this, and then there's a B flat here, right? So that's a two. There, you guys can't see that. You can probably make it neater than yours. And then that's a B flat right there. So now we're in the key of B flat. We just landed on B flat <clears throat> here. And then let's keep listening for a second. Let's see if we can tell when we would go back. <laughs> Quickly modulated to B flat major and then back to the minor. So, so let's go backwards. So you can you can jump around in this. So let's say right here at the end, the first system of the uh, well the, the last system, at the beginning of the last system, we've got we know that we're in G at this point, G minor, right? We know that. So we know that this is a one. Isn't this the same analysis as the beginning? It's the same, it's the exact same as the beginning. Okay. Right, so we see that we've got, we're going backwards now, we see that there's a, a D major here, right? So this is this is like a five, right? Oh wait, did I forget something? Look, F, A, C, E flat, this is a five, seven. Yeah. Okay, so it goes back to D minor, like a, a measure before. A measure before? Here, okay, let's just keep going, let's just see. So, you've got one, this is a what? If we're going backwards. No, 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 this one right here. Yeah, it's a D major, right? D major in the key of, and we're in G. No, we're so, in B flat at that point, so. Oh, we're still in B flat here, you think? No, I think we're switching because I think we've switched the because third, the third is right, so it would be a five, five, four, two. Can we switch on this though. On this one's. Measure? I think it's really. This is a D F sharp A. It's oh, five. It's this is a five chord, right? Oh, okay. five, so yeah. five, yeah. four, two. Isn't that a D in the room? No, yeah. that's a B. Oh, 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 geez. No, that's a, that's a B. No, that's. Oh wait. Oh, I'm reading it in. That's G. that's a G. Ah. <laughs> 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 Coming from the two player, that's a D. <laughs> Five in the key of G, right? So we're going backwards to sort of see. I think he's doing the same thing he did before, where it's just on a side yeah, of the key. So, so, so here's what I'm doing: is I'm starting here. We know that it modulates at some point, so I said, okay, I know that we're in G at this point, and I'm going to go backwards and analyze as though it were in G as far as I can. So I'm going to keep going. So what normally comes before five? If we're in the key of G, a two, well, a two. two, okay, a two, six. a two, two, six, five. two half diminished, six five. Okay, so we know that some point in here we come back to G, but we just don't know where yet. So we're just going to go back as far as we can. 
Okay, and now if we're in the key of G, what would this chord be? And does it make sense? A six. Six, okay. Should be a six. So does this make sense so far? Six, two, five, one? Does that sound like a progression that would that you would normally see? Predominant, dominant, dominant time. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Can we go further back? What would this one be? One. One. Okay. So that makes sense. And then, what would this one be? Seven. Mm. Yeah, like D major. D major. D major. D major seven. D dominant. Right. Yes. yes, because of the C right there. So this would be a what? Five, five, seven. Five. In whatever. Six, five. Five, six, five, right? <laughs> five, six, five. In G. We're in G. I'm going backwards. So we're looking for where it pivots. Okay. Now what about this one? What type of chord is this? B flat. B flat. Okay, this is a B flat. So what would this be? In the key of G. Three. Three. This would be a three. And exactly what you said. It would be a one. So this would be like a perfect place. To pivot. Because of the moving baseline. This, right. This would be a perfect place, a pivot chord. So it's a one in the key of B flat, and it's a three. So you put this little bracket here to show in the key of G. So then here, let's say we go to G minor. And we know, we already know that we're in G minor, right? We know by that point. So let's say here, go three. This was a one. And then a five, and this makes perfect sense, right? That we're in G minor at that point. But now let's go back over here and let's fill this in in B flat. So we had a one right over here. With this theme. And we landed here. What type of chord is this? Got a low B flat.
modulated. And we have gone into C. So at what point do we end up in C? Um, we shifted in the first system, second measure of A4, I think. We shifted somewhere right around here. Where that B natural is. We definitely land on C right here, right? Yeah, I think it starts to pivot in the beginning of that second measure, right before the the B natural. Okay, so with the pivot with the pivot chords, sort of the best way to do it is to usually they're set up beforehand with a predominant dominant tonic in the new key. So the way that I do it is that I find where I know that I'm in the new key, and then I go backwards from there as long as I can in the new key until I at least find, and then if I can't find anything, then I know that it's just directly modulated, right? But if I can find a five before that or a seven before that, then that's what it, it is in the new key. So I sort of go, go backwards. So now what were you saying? Let, let's see. We're in C here. Right? This is a, is it a C minor or a C major? C minor. It's C minor, right? And then... Would that be the five um, in C minor? Yeah, what would this be? I think it's the five. This is kind of, this is kind of different. This would be like the five and C minor. Yeah, the five. And what, what key are we coming from again? The five seven. We're, we're back. We're in G, right? Yeah. So C would be the four. So, so it would be a five seven of four. This would be like a five seven of four, except look at all those notes in there. It's a the only mouth chord from the A flat. Okay. An A flat. So if this is a five chord going to a C, then what would an A flat be? Nine. Flat nine. Flat nine. Flat nine. Flat nine. So this would be like a five, seven, flat nine. Okay. And what do we have here? We have a G chord, G minor. Well, that would be like a minor five. We wouldn't really see that. So maybe this is best to, we're coming from G. So we sort of look at both. So maybe, yes, maybe this is like a still a one six. Yeah. This is a one six. So somewhere in here, we're going to decide that we modulated. And then what do we have here? We got this same chord that we've been seeing since the very beginning. Would that be a five seven flat nine of four still? Or? Well, let's decide that after we get this one. Okay. So this is a, this is a what? A. Same thing we've been seeing since the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. Or two half to minus seven, right? Mm -hmm. A. Mm -hmm. Actually, you don't have hardly any of the notes in this chord, but that's okay. <laughs> We already know what it is. Two half diminished seven. Because we're following the same pattern, remember? We're following the same pattern of what of what we saw right here. It's the exact same thing. So now, yeah, the question is, would this be a five, seven flat nine of four? And then we just put the pivot right here. That's what I would do. Okay. That's what I would do. And then we're on the one chord, and the one chord is actually new, so I'm going to have to, whoa, I'm going to squeeze this in here somehow. Put a four up there. And then put your C minor right here. My mark is kind of thick, so it's a little bit messy, but you get the point, right? And then it's another one. This is interesting. What's the root of this chord? D plus D minor. 
natural. B, be natural, yeah. Right, and then and then we got this this C in the base though. So what did we learn about that? Pedal, pedal. pedal. So you kind of just put an arrow to that, and then you kind of just say ped, which means pedal. And then just put this as a seven. Fully diminished seven. That's right. Back to a one. Fully diminished seven. Again? Is that one a six? Is it a six five? Oh, did I mess up? Because we're still in C, so that would be. Yeah, we'll get seven. Oh, oh, I see. Because you got the B in the base, yeah. Well, I guess I guess you could put it that way, yeah. I just kind of bypassed that because the pedal was in the base. But yeah, you put it as a six five. Okay, so you just get that. That's right, six five. That's a that's a good catch right there. That's pretty good. Okay. Here, you guys have a lot of homework. Hold on to these things. But here's the unfinished symphony. I gave you guys the first ten pages. Yeah. Unfinished symphony. So today's like Schubert day. Today is, oh, there's two of them there. Today's Schubert Day. So see what you can do with this. Well, I thought we'd make it through this whole thing. I guess that was a little bit naive of me. Maybe just finish, see if you can finish the analysis for Earl King. Is that too much in one day? It, it is kind of a lot, but it's not that much. Oh, wait, we didn't even get a half. So you want us to do that and the other? No, don't do the other thing? one. Uh, leave uh, leave um, Interisa for another day, or maybe we can do this in class. Uh, can we go to like the halfway point? Like, well, okay, okay. What's up? With, what What do you think? Well, do Venturaisa and then we go Girl King in class and go over this one as the homework. Or do Earl King as a homework and go over this one class? Well, aren't we working on projects on Thursday? Yeah, we can work on projects a little bit, but the, okay. the Roman numeral analysis is important too. Can we just do this whole one? Do uh, you want to do, do, do Venture Rice then? And then do you yeah. want to finish this one in class? Yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 Okay, I can do that. Yeah. This one's pretty straight. This one's not too much. This one's pretty. It's pretty self explanatory. Yeah. yeah. So do Putin not. And then we'll look at Earl King again. We'll try to speed up. But Earl King is really like, it repeats a lot, but in different keys. It's the yeah. same pattern. It's the same pattern, exactly. Earl King's a great piece, though. And I mean, can you imagine Schubert did this at uh, age 18? Mm -hmm. So uh, he was like, uh, he, was, he was younger than you guys. That's absurd. Hey, he's younger than you. How about that? Some projects. So, have, have you guys worked on your development? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, great. I have. Pretty cool. Cool.